Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Nerd Cheek. Today, I am now going to start up and set up the Tab M8 HD by Lenovo. I just did a box opening on this. You may want to watch that video. Um, it's in here, but at the same time, let's just jump in. I'm going to get this thing started. So I've already gotten it here. I'm going to plug it up and see if it comes charged already. A lot of these do. You can see this device has your SD card um, action right here, and it's got, um, I'm not sure what that is. It's got to be something to do with the sound or whatever. There's the sound buttons, and there's the audio. So I'm going to go ahead and plug it up. The power button's at the bottom here. <clears throat> okay, so I'm plugging it up. I already like this baby. Now, let's get her started up. I'm believing the power button must be... Oh, it says it's charging right now. Oh, 67% charged already. So that means I can go ahead and start this process of starting her up. Let's do it. So, <clears throat> see if this does it. There it is. Powered by Android. Oh my goodness, look at that. Very good stuff. Sorry for the reflection of my ceiling. This is a very good screen and it's very reflecty. So um, you're seeing a little bit of everything that's around on my bulletin board and my light. All right, so we're powering up. We're on the, the Lenovo screen. Very nice. I want to see how fast this is. My entry-level tablet that I tried just a few days ago was very slow. Okay, so here we go. It says vision settings. If I won't need it, English start. See what it says there. License agreement. <clears throat> okay, it says accept. And then it's searching for my Wi-Fi. I'm going to click it into my Wi-Fi. And of course, I'm going to take this off screen for just a second and fill it in. What I'm noticing is it's super fast, you guys. Super fast. So I've almost got my Wi-Fi in. There we go. Let's connect. It's going in there now. Super fast. This thing is at least, I would say, three times faster than my Kindles, and I've got the Kindle Fire HD 10 and 8, the current, you know, versions, and it's got to be, I would say, seven or eight times faster right now than the um, last Android tablet I got, which was a, a $58 tablet I bought online, and we tried. I won't even mention the brand because later you're going to see me dismantle it because it is not good piece of trash. This is awesome. The Lenovo is fast. It's checking now for updates, and it says it may take a few minutes. So we'll let it do that for a second. If it takes too long, I'll pause. But before we do, remember, <clears throat> we've got the Ask the Nerd podcast that we've got coming out every couple of weeks. We've got the Nerd Cheek YouTube channel and the Nerd Cheek gaming channel, two different channels that we've got going on for Nerd Cheek with this brand. And then you've got the Ask the Nerd website that you can find at www.askthenerd.net where we can, you know, share all of our good stuff there. Please be sure to take, um, take all of the resources we've got. Okay, it says you can choose to transfer your apps, photos, contacts, Google account, and more. So I'm not going to copy, but how cool is that? I could take my other device, the other tablet, and copy over everything. Instead, I'm not going to copy. I'm going to have it come straight over, but it looks like all you have to do is get it near it, and it'll do that process. So you would click next if you want to do that. I'm not going to copy. I'm just going to let it go and finish checking for updates. It's going through that. And don't forget, we've got an Android app, Nerd Cheek Android app, that you can find at askthenerd.net. We've got courses, free stuff, and all kinds of resources we give away all the time for you guys if you want to head over to the website. Okay, now I've got to sign into my Google account. Give me one second to do that. And I will get us all in there. Here we go. All right, so I took a break for a second and I'm back because it took a minute to get the account in there. Went very fast, but it's a two-step process for me. If you don't have dual authentication set up on your Google account, you should. So I've gone through that. It's asking me if I want to use my phone number with this device so that I can use it to function with the stuff like the video calls and messages and do Google services. I do not want to use that phone number from my other device. So I'm clicking skip. You're probably going to want to be in on that. That's a good way to go. 
And then here it's saying that they're doing all of our terms and services. I'm just agreeing, it's checking all my info and it's pulling all my account info in right now. So as that account info comes in, <clears throat> it's gonna set up the ability for me to immediately pull in apps and all that good stuff from my Google account. This is why I love Android. It's so much easier than Kindle. Kindle is not the same at all. So I got backup and storage, use location, allow scanning, scan for Wi-Fi networks, whatever, send usage and diagnostic data. I personally, I turn that off install updates and apps yeah if you don't want it to locate where you're at from your thing turn it off i actually don't want it to so i'm not going to let it do that and i am going to allow it to back up to my drive but no if you do that it's using up your drive space and if you don't have an account on there it's going to cost you for extra okay so that's what i'm doing i don't like data going out about me even if it's anonymous to google or its partners so i turn that off and then it says to install apps, yes, got it. So now it's coming. And so equipment safety protection, in order to improve the security of the device, it is recommended that you choose a screen unlock mode. So there's face recognition, pattern, pin, and password. For me, I like face recognition and I like, um, I like using a, a pin. So I'm gonna do face authentication and pin right here. And I'm getting ready to hold it up to my face and do it. So it says it can further protect this device with a pin before it starts up until the device starts up. It can't receive calls, messages, notifications, alarms. Really cool stuff. So yes, I'm gonna do my pin. Okay. Okay, I just confirmed my pin twice. And now it says enable raise to wake so I can have a better experience. Yep, I'm gonna do that. And then I'm recording my face. So I can't show you that for a second. It says done, done. So my facial recognition is set and then it's gonna set up my assistant. This is Google Assistant. So I can turn on these settings if I want to. So you guys may want to use Google Assist and I suggest do that from an informed perspective. I personally am not going to set up my Google Assistant. I don't set up Siri on my Apple. I don't allow um, Alexa to function on my uh, Kindles and I don't turn on Google Assistant without going through each thing. So I'm gonna say no thanks, but I'll do a deeper setup at another time. Watch my other tutorials on how I make things safe and you'll learn what I do with those. Okay, check out what's trending with the Google Assistant. After your phone is set up, try these popular things to ask your assistant. Make a phone call, tell me a joke, set a reminder. Next, now I'm just going on. Okay, now anything else? Set up a few more things or find them later in settings. Add another email account, change font size, change wallpaper, control info on lock screen. Let's do that, control info on lock screen. Show all notification content, no thank you. Show sensitive content only when unlocked. That's what I'm gonna do. I suggest doing that. If someone gets to your device and they're able to see it, they will not see your sensitive data or emails by picking up the screen and you'll have your notifications. So I do that, done. And then I'm gonna pick my wallpaper. Oh, there's live wallpaper. There's no live wallpaper. That's funny. Okay, so wallpapers. Let's see what wallpapers we got. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I like that too. Which ones do you guys like? Do you guys have a specific one you wanna use? I'm gonna use the sunken ship. I like it. Okay, I got my sunken ship on there. Got my wallpaper. I'm gonna say done for now. And let's see what it does. Adding finishing touches. Lenovo ID. Create and log in to a Lenovo ID for personalized services. Le Lenovo Entertainment. Kids mode. Tips. Mm, no thanks. I'm going to skip that. Lenovo User Experience Program. Improve its products and your experience by asking you to share some information about your use of whatever. Um, I'm going to know. I'm going to turn that off. Uh, you see what I just did there, guys? I went out and I turned it off. Are you sure you want to leave the Lenovo user experience program? Yes, I don't want them to follow me and track what I do, and I don't want to deal with it. Leaving this may cause some applications, whatever. Yes, I'm going to opt out. I'm not doing it. I don't want the stuff to work that they're threatening. So I'm going to go back out here, and then let's see if it made it off. Yep, and now accept and continue. So catch that if you're doing a Lenovo, guys. It does all that stuff. Gesture navigation. So... 
to go home, swipe up from the bottom of the screen to switch apps, swipe up from the bottom, hold, and then release. To go back, swipe from either the left or right edge. Oh, I get it. And then there's two button navigation. To switch apps, swipe up on the home button. To see all apps, swipe up again. To go back, tap the back button. Three button navigation. Go back, home, and switch apps with buttons at the bottom of your screen. Hmm, I don't know. I think I want to do, this is a gesture one. So, do you guys have a preference? Hit the comments and tell me which you use. Do you use gesture navigation, two button navigation, or three button navigation? I'm going to do three button navigation because I don't care for the gestures. That's not my big deal. So, finish. Let's see if this really finishes it. All right, it says 20 and then finish. Boom, and that is not the wallpaper I chose. How funny is that? All right, let's see what it does. Let's see if it gets things in here. It looks like it's doing this. This reminds me, the three button navigation reminds me of my Kindle. All right, so look at that, guys. It's bringing everything in here. I like it. I like it a lot. This is awesome. Kids mode's right there. There's all kinds of stuff. Oh, I did not mean to do that back. Oh my goodness. Look at that, guys. Love it. Dolby Audio. There's Duo, Photos, Calendar, everything, YouTube. I love it. Okay, so tell me what you think. If you have a Lenovo tab and you love it, tell me how much you love it. And this is very similar to the feel on a Kindle. And I really like the new look. This is awesome. Okay, so that's it. Don't forget to subscribe to Nerd Chic. Um, give us a thumbs up on this and hit the comments if you got any questions. I'm going to go play with my Lenovo M8 tab. Boom.